For question number six, we're going to look at the re-entry of spacecraft into the atmosphere, together with the escape velocity of Earth. When launching any rocket that is designed to leave Earth's atmosphere, a certain speed has to be reached to achieve an escape from Earth's gravitational pull. This is called escape velocity. The escape velocity of Earth is 11.2 kilometers per second, a speed of roughly 25,000 miles an hour, or Mach 33. And this speed has to be obtained to be able to enter space without being pulled back down to Earth because of gravy T. Coming back into Earth's atmosphere, the process is called re-entry. This is supposedly the rapid breaking of the spacecraft caused by it hitting the Earth's thicker atmosphere, which decreases the velocity drastically from the orbital speed of 9.4 km per second in low Earth orbit. Or to put it another way, many times faster than a speeding bullet. So after the launch, our rocket pops into orbit with its brand new shiny paint job and all its fancy bumper stickers intact. It's now ready for its debut on the world's media platforms in all its glory. On the other hand, when the spacecraft encounters the Earth's atmosphere on the way down, it heats up so much that the NASA engineers have to cover it up with special heat-resistant ceramic tiles, so the thing won't melt on re-entry, due to the extremely high temperatures of the carpet burn. Sorry, did I say carpet burn? I meant to say plasma burn. <laughs> so how come it's travelling at the same speed, through the same atmosphere, at the same angle, and in the same direction of the Earth's rotation, yet no provision is made for protection on the ascent, and the spacecraft is unharmed when it reaches orbit? I'll just pop this picture on the screen while you fanboys try to work out an answer. Time's up. Remember to put your names at the top of the papers. If you have any trouble with this, just ask the teacher. Spacebusters, the channel that makes you think.